Gay shark game. That's my intro. <laughs> long, long ago, before history, before legend even, there was a battle between the elemental forces of ether and the darkness from the abyss. The fight reshaped the land and lasted for generations. The people of Ether came together, all tribes, all elements, and sealed the darkness away. They freely gave everything they had to save each other and the world. The fallen and their treasures were buried deep beneath what is now Jewel's Veil. Vale. Now, countless fortune hunters and adventurers dive into the mines to find wealth and excitement. I fear they'll find a terrible darkness as well. So this is the new game from the creators of Rivals of Aether and also the free April Fool's, I think it was April Fool's Day, uh, dating sim lovers of Aether, uh, which playing, having played uh, Monster Prom, our primary exposure to this franchise so far is uh, Force Burn being in that as a, as a official mod or something. Difficulty story. Advanced, experienced strategy game players, or hard. I, I'm guessing it's even harder than advanced. Sure, advanced. Come on, come on. There's gotta be some kind of incriminating evidence stashed here. Hey, who's there? Eliana, if that's you again, I swear. <laughs> Eek! I mean, um, you can't hide your evil deeds forever, you badger co-lackey. Beg your pardon? Prepare to face justice for your crimes against Jules Vale. Oh, wait, I know you. You're the crazy vigilante who harasses folks around here. I'm Fleet, and I'm the Archer of Justice. My aim is always true. Uh-huh. Well, you missed the mark on me. I'm not with Badgerco anymore, and I certainly don't have any love for them. A likely story? Believe what you want. When I warned them they were being stupid and reckless with their mining operations, they fired me. It was very public. I'm honestly surprised you didn't hear us hollering across the ether. Oh ho! Then you are a kindred spirit. You must delight at the thought of stopping their villainy. I wouldn't go that far. Although, I wouldn't be opposed to throwing a spanner in their works. It'd give the local businesses a chance to get back on their feet. And stop their vile industry from corrupting our fair town with their eldritch, uh, vileness. Oh boy. Badrico is definitely up to something, but I'm not going to enable your power fantasy just to see, just to see you get hurt. I can fight. This bow ain't just for show. Here, go a few rounds with my little training robot here. Let me see if you actually know how to use that thing. With pleasure. Let me show it, sh explain how the pros do this. Watch and learn. Attack, defense, accuracy, speed. Uh, oh, that's my stats versus the dummy stats. I do more, okay. So if my attack is higher than their defense, then it works. If it's equal, then they block. It goes to the opponent. All my skills are on the left and the dummies are on the right. So, okay, so there's not, there's not like a dice roll or anything. You just will hit if your attack is higher. I'm guessing the stats move around a bit. Pick the strike ability and deal some damage. You can press the left bumper to quickly move your abilities. i move to your abilities. Oop, right, and then the right bumper lets me look at their abilities. I guess I'm guessing the plus signs are when I have a chance to increase my abilities. So I blocked their attack because I have better. Did you see how my guard ability wasn't available? 
That's because I didn't have enough accuracy. So the higher my accuracy, the more options I have. But last but not, least, but not least, let's talk about speed. Whoever has the most speed goes first. This is crucial in effects that apply on the same turn. If I have the same speed as my opponent, I'll go first. Hero's initiative. Cheating. Each turn starts with a dice draft. Each die's color matches a stat color. Okay, so we do increase our stats then. So this is a six attack. Now it's eight. That's a whole, 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 whole lot more. Now I've got plus six added to my attack. See that? The enemy took a die too. You gotta be strategic in your picks. Okay, so they pick from the same sample. I can use any colored die to give plus one to any off-colored stat. So this increases my attack by six right now. But if I move it down to defense, it'll increase my defense by one instead, which in this case seems like a huge downgrade, but okay. Even if I just got plus one to my defense, that's enough to block the enemy's attack. I should still outpace him with my higher speed, but it doesn't hurt to be cautious. Oh, and any die with a value of one can only be used with their same color. Okay, so one more one more die draft. You said that accuracy increases your stats. I guess I can only grab this one and then all that's left is green so they don't get to use it at all? Oh, they can stack them to the same effect. Okay. I thought you might be limited to one. Uh, and I thought, haha, I've blocked you. This, this thing can't be used for other stats. That dice draft extremely didn't matter! Two stamina and ten coins. That was actually rather impressive. I know, right? You're all a quiver at my archery skills? Stop that. <laughs> Sorry. You might just be able to pull this off. First, I'm going to clean up the mess you made in here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Can I help? Yeah. Get out of my way for a bit. Right, I'll just swing by the inn and see if anyone needs help in the meanwhile. There's the inn. And there's a deer man. Or, uh, that's a rain, yeah, reindeer. Welcome, you can't explore the depths on an empty stomach or tired feet, why not grab a bite and rest a spell? You'd be amazed by how much you can do with a little R&R. &R. And I have 10 coins for exactly that, so I guess we'll do that. Why, why did the dummy drop money? Or a peach, actually. That felt great! Nothing like a, light, a nice rest to give me extra stamina. Alright, so we're, very, we're being very descriptive today. Alright, partner, what's the plan? We're not partners. If you're serious about this, first, we need to do some reconnaissance. I'm sure Badger Co. is modifying the designs I made for them. Intellectual theft! The fiends! More that, more that they don't know what they're doing and somebody could get it hurt. Head down to the caverns and see if you can find any blueprints. Are you sure we can't do something more, you know, more? I'm the Archer of Justice. How will anyone know about all the good I'm doing if there's no razzle dazzle? I've already dealt with one vainglorious hothead. Don't make me regret working with you. Sorry. Think of it this way. If we know how they're building and repairing their diggers, y uh, you'll know where to snipe the weak spots, right? Ha! Huh, yeah! Now you're talking, back in a flash. Oop. Yeah, that's all we can go with for now. Gotta, gotta find and retrieve Ayala's blueprints from Badger Co. in the mines. Alright, gameplay, let's go. Left stick looks around, press A to move to that room. I'll go free cram with left bumper. Oop. Left bumper. Okay, so let's go over here, since that's the room I can see. There's a... I don't, beep. You don't seem to click on the barrels and whatnot. Oop, there's a stoat. And he's, he's stoked to murder me. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Anyway. Get that maximum defense right away. Then stack some attack. Hmm. 
I can't pierce his defense with my current draft. But I can still salvage this. I can use my techniques to help myself now or in the future. I don't even need to land a hit to make them work. I better brace and use my guard this turn. Grants three defense die on the next turn, which is a lot. Yeah, so we can't attack with this. Even more defense. Just, just, just too much defense, frankly. Ah, uh, how did dice work? All the other dice went away. I don't know if I understand that mechanic necessarily. But I do have infinite defense and we'll never take damage ever again. So that's fun. Ugh, what's with these drafts? I don't have enough attack again. At least I have the extra defense die thanks to technique I used last turn. Okay, so the dice drafts only last one turn. The three defense I had was from the ability only. Not from like leftovers from last turn or anything. But even using my two defense dice to increase my attack, I won't beat his defense. Eureka! The stamina I recovered the tavern can boost any of my stats. Oh. Use your stamina to grant plus three to your attack during this turn. Still not enough. Wait, I still have the peach I won from the last battle. Plus two stamina. This is a very long turn for us, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. So he only has one attack, so my two defense is good enough for that. And I can use these dice very suboptimally to get my attack up to eight. And now I will do an attack. That does damage. One damage. We worked so hard for that. Now I have one million damage. Bad news for him. <laughs> Whoa, their attack is way more than our defense. If only I had enough accuracy to do a strike. But my speed is higher, so I should be able to end this fight first. I forgot enemies can use their stamina at the end of the draft too. He's gonna get the first hit. I'm out of points. As long as I don't lose all three hearts, there's always a chance to heal, though. Okay, so they're faster, and they attack. And I guess with six attack and versus my four defense, I'll take two damage. But that's enough that I can still survive. Whereas they're going to take uh, a ton of damage. Just all of the damage. Oh, these are only worth one, so I can't move them down to speed to make my, to fix the speed problem. Oh, less damage than I expected. New attack, react. Deals one damage, instantly grants two defense. Take advantage of your speed by instantly increasing your defense after a connect. Huh. Is that a treasure chest? It's got to have something useful inside. Do unlock it'll have to beat the stat numbers using my draft? Have to beat all of it, I guess? Okay. I can reroll my remaining draft only three times, so hopefully luck is on my side today. So I guess take the best numbers. And then re-roll the bad numbers. I can open more locks before re-rolling. Want me to go for that one? Oh yeah, I guess so. I guess we don't necessarily need to go for better numbers. Then you put in that three, and then this can become a one, and now that's enough.
Focus grants uh, two attack die on the next turn and two accuracy die on the next turn, so that's a lot. Improve your chances to connect on the next turn to stage an all-out attack. Golden Watch. Useless in battle, but value to the shops. This game has a very particular combat system. I'm kind of like recalibrating your character from scratch every turn. Okay, there's a green leader on the left, and that's my accuracy. So I have two, so I can only do strike and guard. And if I get my accuracy up to four, I can use focus, which gives me two accuracy and, and two attack next turn. Okay, it's clicking for me now. It was strange to process at first. Seems like a no-brainer to get a mountain of attack right there. Okay, the AI does seem designed in the- because this is a tutorial. They seem designed to just pick the mirror options each time, because whatever I pick, they pick basically the same thing themselves, don't they? they grab the defense, then they grab the defense, grab the accuracy, they grab the accuracy. They're definitely going to land their next hit. I'm out of stamina to help with my stats, but I can still use my speed to my advantage. So my ability will happen first. <clears throat> if this connects, then I deal one damage, and then I instantly grab two defense, and my two defense will match their five attack by taking it to five, and then they won't do damage. And that's why speed is of the essence. Speaking of speed, and accuracy. Okay. Now I can use all of my accuracy abilities. Uh... Do I want even more speed? I mean, if I don't grab the speed, then they'll match mine. Which I guess doesn't actually matter, technically. What does Taunt do? Well, I don't want them to do that. If we if we tie on speed, apparently, uh, I go first anyway, so we're fine. They have three. Ooh, they can hurt me through my shield, though. Right, but I don't I don't need this accuracy to be here. Well, if I was trying to do focus for two attack and two accuracy next turn, that's a problem. Because my number's a two. So if I do this, then it becomes a three and I lose the, I lose the ability to use react. But I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, I guess, uh, there's no reason to use focus because I can just use react instead. Getting my defense up means he won't be able to hurt me. React should mean that I'll... Oop, I did that wrong. That's my mistake, because the game even just straight up will tell you it's not going to connect. So I just blew right past that information. One million defense, please. So I accomplished basically nothing I was going for that turn. It's a lot of accuracy. What are you going to do with all that accuracy? Didn't really mean to put that there. Okay. I'm winning on speed. They uh, they can't do anything past my attack. I can use focus. To pump up next turn stats. But then they minus two accuracy with taunt. Which is rude, but I've got my attack bonus. And now I've got even more attack bonus. And they won't be able to increase there as much. I don't even know what they're going to do with that much accuracy. What is it going to accomplish? Whatever, I'm going first. It looks like he's taking a nap! You unlock the new attack. Stun! Deals one damage. Instantly discards one opponent's dice. Grants one die of the discarded die is colored on the next turn. Mess up your opponent's strategy while building your own. This is going to take some practice. I'm already having a little trouble with, with the combat because it's very odd. Automatically discards all opponents' di uh, one dice. Hello. Then there's a three stamina item. Oh, a gem! I can embed it into my weapon for extra effects. This one will automatically discard any die with the value of one drafted by my opponent. They don't last forever, though, so I need to keep an eye on their durability meter. I was going to say, that sounds way too overpowered. Why would that be a mechanic? 
Because I'm used to gems kind of lasting forever. Oh, they want me to do it now. Phew. There's a doctor up ahead. I can finally recover all my HP. Is that an anteater? No, we don't, we don't meet them up close or talk to them or anything, I don't think. Oh, well. Oh, that's the blueprint. And there's... Well, I'm sorry, what, what are you? Who are you? Who are you? What? Wait, is that, a, is that a big... Okay, stamina dice. Stat dice can be used in any slot while keeping their value intact. What's, what makes it a stat dice? Is it the ones that are swirly? Oh, it's this this golden one. That would be the one. Yeah. Hmm. It seems ideal to stack up your defense so that people don't get ahead of yours. So he's just a big chonky raccoon, is what he is. Do 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 do. Why are the one? Okay. I think the swirl was just to indicate that my gem was going to eat that, but only if the enemy uses it. It does give me a pretty strong advantage. Okay, I have a defense of 8, they have an attack of 4, so I'm doing pretty good. I can't do any damage though. Oh, there's stun. Stun requires 5 accuracy. These really stack up quickly on your attack meter. Just the sheer number of different little moves you've got. Pretty strong though. Oh! They also became stronger next turn. Okay. What if, what if I became even more stronger? Okay. Why did you gain a little one over here? What's, what's going on with that one that he's got? Steal. Deals one damage instantly, steals three gold from the opponent. Oh. Why does he have a golden one next to his defense, though? I'm not totally sure what that was. My gem is already half dead, though, so it really doesn't last. Uh, doing focus again would be really redundant at this point. Strike will not defense, because... Ah! They did get all the way up to seven defense. So none of my attacks will connect. That's rough. Hmm. I'm not sure what the golden one came from. Uh, but yeah, my one of my gut reactions was that you you would do damage based on how much you surpass the enemy's defense. But now the strike does one damage. That's it. We're just focusing again. Got ourselves into a bit of a stalemate. Alright. The stamina dice is only a 1, so let's stack up the defense so they can't get ahead of me. I kind of want to nab the four just so they don't grab it. Even though I'm putting it on attack. All attack stat. You can't get ahead of me now. The uh, There goes the gem. So this deals one damage, this deals one damage, and gets you two defense. I guess there's no reason to ever do this when you can do this. It doesn't cost more or anything. We lose our dice no matter what. But, in this case, I don't need the defense. It's just for the sake of it, I guess. Probably a good habit. Uh, I would like all of the attack, please. Uh, I'm gonna have trouble getting enough defense. Uh... This is going to be a problem. 
discarding an opponent dice would be good if it happens to be an attack dice. There's no guarantee that'll happen. React can give me two defense. I'm not going to be able to stack defense, so I, can, I should at least get uh, accuracy so I can make smarter choices. I defeat their... Hmm. Let's get the speed just so they don't go first. Because we can gain defense. So currently they defeat my defense, so they're going to be doing a damage. If I use React, I gain two defense. Uh, that makes me a four defense, which still loses, so that doesn't help. This deals a damage and discards an enemy dice and gives me a dice. And if it happens to discard their attack dice, then uh, they'll probably still do damage because it's still. If it gets even if it gets rid of the four, they'll have a three. I'm not in a good spot. I probably misplayed my move, my turn. I can disport my. Oh, you can choose a dice. Interesting. Oh, and it gives you the one next turn, so I didn't have it then, I have it now. Okay. Let's just dive in on the defense. It's always a problem for me. Okay, so I'm, I'm ahead of their attack. Even if they wish I wasn't. And now I've got a billion stamina. Or accuracy. But now my attack is weak, and I will deflect unless I move something elsewhere. If I move speed up here, then I can outclass their attack to do damage. And I can still then do stun. But they will- it's, they'll, they'll go first anyway though, so it won't really matter. But they used focus, because they can't attack. Their rock fall fell on them. A new ability, if, you, if stamina is 3 or lower, instantly grant 3 stamina. If stamina is 4 or higher, grant 1 attack, 1 accuracy, and 1 speed on the next turn. Oh. But to get- so that's a reward for getting, like, 6 accuracy. I wonder if this is a roguelike RNG sort of thing with these skills, or if she specifically gets abilities in this order every time. As she levels. Journey entry number 1. The, un the Underground Bulletin. <clears throat> That's a little long. This is your intrepid reporter, Scoop, bringing you the truth about the ins and outs of Jules Vale. There's been quite the hubbub around town lately. First off, the influx of new faces has the locals on edge. For every desperate wannabe miner looking to get rich quick, you have three more bandits looking to take advantage of them. The town guard can barely keep up the peace. Can barely keep the peace. This isn't helped by Badger Co., which is only fueling the fire. The reckless issuing of mining contra uh, contracts has only emboldened the prospectors who don't seem to care they're losing 70% of their earnings to company President Badger. The local contractors are out of luck, as the Badger Co. has muscled them out of the mines. Who can we turn to? Unfortunately, our best option seems to be self-styled vigilante fleet. Uh, if you... Need someone rec to recklessly cause property damage or to rile up Badger Co., you can count on her to make a bad situation worse. Some of the locals say that they, they appreciate the fact that somebody's standing up to the corporate monolith, but just as many are tired of crashed-in ceilings and errant arrows. The humble reporter... Uh, this humble reporter can't speculate on how this will all shake out, but it's clear Jules Vale can't endure all these greedy ambitions. Doop -doo. The self-styled vigilante fleet. That's us. That's our name. I, 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 I was like, I missed. I definitely misread this the first time through because I was thinking of the word fleet, and I'm like, oh, the vigilante fleet. Okay, what are they like? I'm like, hang on a minute. No, it's just us. We are the vigilante fleet. Anyway, this is the blues. Uh, the oh, that's a badger. That's a good badger. I, I exclusively went south first just to see another uh, creature design. So we got to be, we've seen a stoat at least twice, and now uh, big uh, there's a big raccoon and there's a badger miner. 
Wow, I wonder what other game people have been asking me to play constantly that features a, uh, a badger that's in the mines. Could be anything, really. Uh, defense dibs. Speed dibs. You're dead to me. <laughs> Snack. Grow? Oh, I thought he was actually going to get bigger. <laughs> why, why would you get me excited like that? What did Grow do? Two f stamina dice on the next turn? Two four stamina dice. Plus four to both attack and defense is so much. I guess they got, I guess they got to choose where it goes? That seems like a tad much. Okay, their attack is six, so I definitely need the stamina dice on my defense. <laughs> I did leave them an attack dice, didn't I? I sure, I, 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 I sure did that. Look at me doing that. Uh, I've made better choices before. Okay, so there are. <laughs> okay, we have stamina. We can do this. Uh, can we do this? On connect deals one damage and grants two defense. I'm not going to connect, I have one attack. Yeah, without the ability to, to actually outclass them on damage, every single purple ability is useless and won't work. So that's a bit of an issue. Although overall they can still only do one damage. Minus one to a random stat, that's gonna suck. That's definitely what they're gonna use. Uh, I don't think I can save this, can I? I mean, Grow is very powerful. Wow, okay. Even if, I, even if I use all three stamina, I cannot I'll only end up with 10 defense. And since I can't use uh, react because I can't connect an attack, I can't do I can't make up the other two to get up to 12. So I guess I should just tank the hit. It's not worth using the stamina. This grants me two accuracy and two attack next turn. This is three guard next turn. This is attack, accuracy, and speed next turn. Which is a little tempting, but honestly it might be worse than just doing two attack and two accuracy next turn. So it's probably the better choice. That's not biting, that's pixaxing. Duh. Okay, well they're definitely not going to outclass my defense this time. So at least there's that. Let's go ahead and nab up the... Hmm. I don't want them to have a billion speed. Let's nab this up and put it in my... Attack. So I can get ahead of their defense. I don't want them getting... What's, get, what's worse than them getting more speed is them getting more accuracy? Wait. Instantly grants two defense, grants two stamina die on the next turn. Uh, one, two stamina die. I don't want them to do that either. So if they have accuracy, they'll do this to me. They'll... Uh, two defense will take them to five. Yeah, I can't block, I can't attack past five, I only have four. That will suck. But I don't want them to get accuracy because then they'll grow and get two four stamina dice and then I can't, then they'll be unblockable next turn. So I think I still want to take the ac accuracy die. I think I might apply it to accuracy. Is the game... There's a little icon... Let's see. 
Yeah, I have a little arrow when I select things. So I, I think the arrow on the right tells me which ability they're going to use, which they, they might not even, like, strategize. They might literally just use the highest uh, stamina ability... Sorry, highest accuracy ability that they have access to. So they're going to use cover, which gives them two defense, which sucks. Did they gain two defense? They'll be at six, and I cannot attack them. I'm all, and I already can't attack them. Okay, so... Take the two die and put it up here. So that's enough to get past their defenses, and, and I have enough accuracy that I can use stun, which is an attack that gives me that has additional bonuses. But I'm at speed disadvantage, so I'm gonna have to use a stamina, I think, to get the speed advantage. Because if I have speed advantage, that means that I get to do it to the attack first, and so cover will not defend against my attack. It'll it'll be useless, essentially. But I, they still get the stamina die next turn. And now I can use this time to use stun, which will do a damage, get rid of a dice. Which I guess I could have also used to get rid of... No, 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 no. Okay. I was thinking I could have used this to undo using up my stamina. But it has to connect first. So in order for it to connect first, I have to have more attack and more speed in order to make that work. And that, so at that point, it doesn't give, give me that much more help. But I get uh, a bonus thing next turn. That'll be nice. Um... Let's go ahead and discard... I guess I should, just, I should discard their accuracy. Because if I discard their accuracy, it goes down and they lose cover, which means they won't get a stamina dice. Oh, they don't have anything to take. That's just the stat by default. My bad. Uh, what is this one over here from? I don't think I understand what's going on there yet. I'm definitely screwing something up here. Should I be looking through these? Three stamina, four stamina. Not out of stamina yet. Okay, so by default I have a, an advantage on defense. And I already have a plus one, so I'm leading by two defense. I need to make up the- I need to get a- stay ahead of their defense with my attack. I'm gonna wanna grab this four. And they grab their four, so now we're tied right now. Alright, I'm currently losing on both attack and defense. Good- good start. Uh, but the defense is fixable. And now this is just kind of a no-brainer, I guess. Except if they put the one on there, they tie for speed. So I might as well put this on attack so I can attack. And they gain... Okay. The golden one is their stamina. Right. I was like, why do I keep... Why does a number block keep popping up? That's them spending stamina. Because they need to stay one point ahead of me on the defense versus attack dynamics. So they can not get it hit. But I can also play the same game, and they don't have the stamina to keep up. So I get to attack anyway. Ugh, and now these grow again. I'm in trouble! Ha 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 ha! All the defense, please! Stop having more attack! It's, it's rude! You're being rude! Yeah, there's no real chance of attacking at moments like this. I just need to have so much defense that I can stay ahead of them. So let's take this and put it on defense. They grabbed the other thing. Damn it. Okay. But they left this, so I can also put this on defense. There we go. Uh, I have speed advantage. They, they can't, so... And they only, they only have strike and cover, so there's no way for them to boost their attack to hurt me. So I just need to kill time right now. 
give myself even more defense next turn. Alright, now I have five defense before I even draw anything, so they're definitely not going to hurt me there. I don't want them grabbing a ton of defense, but I also can't fully stop them. So they're probably going to have four defense, so in order to damage them, I need to get up to four attack. There's not a single red die, so I don't really see that happening. We'll see. I can always reshuffle them after the draft. But I might need to use snack or something. Let's see. Okay, they grab the other one. My attack ties with their defense and their attack ties with my defense. But I can still do this. Okay. I have I have beaten their defense by one point and they're edging on using grow. But if I end this right now, they'll never get to do it. Dead Badger. Snipe deals one damage, grants two, two, three stamina dice on next turn, instantly grants two stamina. Wow, that's a lot of bonus for getting a lot of accuracy. That was basically comically powerful. Here you are. Uh, here you go. Pretty impressive, am I right? Huh. Nice work. I'll need to review what you what they've done to my designs. So give me some time. You do your thing. I'll do mine. I wonder if the merchant has anything I can use. You will now go to the merchant. That's an axolotl. That's an axolotl axolotl. Uh, hi. Hey there. Don't just stop and starve. I've got fine wares from everywhere for a, for a... <laughs> You're completely fumbling here. I've got fine wares from everywhere for a fair for a fair fair. Oh, they're, they're fucking with me. I got it. Okay. <laughs> that was a hell of a sentence to say. <laughs> if you've got gold, I've got the goods to help you uh, help to help to explore s some more. Oh, is that a golden watch? You know, I can also pay you a fair amount of gold for your leftover trinkets. Sell for 15. Thank you so much. It's a fine watch. Now, why don't, why don't you invest your recently earned money into some helpful items? All of your dice become stamina dice. All of my dice. So they must mean after the draft, whatever dice you have then become wild card and you can move them everywhere you want to. Can't be used against bosses. Free stamina, discard an opponent's uh, die. This one's really strong. Where's my money? 25? Okay, let's get the scroll then. That's the one that seems cool. I'm back! Find anything interesting? More like distressing. What? What? Are they infusing their dastardly devices with the very hopes and dreams of the people of Jules Vale? What? No. They've taken my delicate pre precision machinery and overclocked it to the extreme. Story of my life. Anyway, this mega digger here is modified for maximum output, but zero safety. With power like that, they could destabilize the mines! Cave and all of Jules fail! They're doing a test run at the very heart of the caverns. Fleet, you have to stop it from literally undermining the town. I'll d I'll bring it down, and anyone who gets in my way. I don't think I'm gonna get to check out the other characters in this in this time. <laughs> uh, my stamina is max, so we're good. So let's go. You gotta go defeat the miner. I mean, obviously the chest. Oh, you can't get to the chest. You can just see it through the wall, spookily, but it's past the stoat, which I'm stoked to meet. How, wow, I still have all of my abilities. 
I wasn't expecting that. I thought <laughs> I kind of thought it would restart every dungeon and maintain the system where they get unlocked each time you defeat another enemy or something. That is a wow. That eventually expects you to get a lot of stamina. Okay. Oh, I also have ten stamina down here too. Okay. One billion attack, please. Rude. What? Oh, right, the, right, it's only worth one. <laughs> that is how that works. Yeah, if they're not going to stack any defense, then you really don't need... Um... I have the speed advantage. If I get three accuracy, I'll be able to use react, which will grant two defense, which will block their incoming attack. Unless they put the next one on attack also. Okay, no. They went for steel, which steals gold, which is rude. Okay, so this will give me four... Two more defense, taking me to six, so I should not take damage, right? 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 Alternatively, I can use stun, which gives me a bonus, and it will... If I destroy their stamina dice on attack, then their attack will be too low, because they'll only have two. But this is the better option, unless I'm screwing up. Which is an exciting problem to consider. Anyway, they used steel. Which was blocked, because it doesn't connect. So it's useless to them. Ha 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 ha. One billion attack again, please. Good luck defending against this. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get accuracy up, so I can use every ability ever. And then speed up, so that they can't possibly beat me. So they will technically beat my defense, but I will end the fight before they can do that with this. And we'll get the bonus stamina dice for no reason, uh, for fun. <laughs> he, he like deflates and then he just looks like he's taking a nap. Ah, a, a doctor I can't use. Or don't have a reason to use right now. That's a lot of defense. So, so we can reroll three times, but we only reroll the dice that I haven't used yet, right? Is that the idea? Okay, so we already have enough defense. We don't need any of that. So we want to defeat each one in an average of two dice. These numbers are frustrating because two, three, and three. Like a four, what I need is a four. Everything is just low enough that I can't solve my problems with it because the, there's a uh, there's stamina dice, but stamina dice aren't enough for the red. I guess I'm not entirely sure how the, the reroll works. Do I get a whole new set of dice, or does it reroll the existing ones? I think it just rerolls the existing ones, which could make it a bit rough. Yeah, it just rerolls the existing dice. But that's a big, big red. Big problem solver right there, and this is a maximum roll, so we're obviously going to go for that one. And we're pretty much set. Okay. Pick one? What, the other one's going to light on fire? Shopper's card, get lower prices at shops. Apple, three stamina. Scroll of dodge, if your speed is equal or higher than your opponents, you'll avoid their attack during this turn. Oh. That's interesting. You have to kind of earn it? It's an edge case? That'd be interesting to try to use. Cause I, th I imagine it's a, a single use item, you can only use that turn for its benefit. Uh, so staircase exit or deeper into the dungeon? <laughs> Scoop here with the retrospective on the omnipresent overlords, Badger Co. They own the mines, they own the town, and they own the Jules Vale Gazette. 
Thanks for, uh, for choosing me over that rag run by spineless, cow-towing editors. Founded only 20 years ago, it was one of the many small businesses within the ever-growing Jules Vale. Driven by innovative and bold new inventions, founder Alex Badger made numerous investments, some of a dubious nature, to see his company flourish. Badger Co. became the exciting new place to work and soon became the center of town. And then came the buyouts, real estate, foodstuffs, utilities. It all became a subsidiary of Badger Co. In just a decade, everyone in Jules Vale was working for Badger Co. whether they knew it or not. Those who spoke up were either muscled out of town or disappeared. And that's why our intrepid reporter Scoop is publishing this paper under pen name. You can't bury the truth, but you can bury bodies. <laughs> well, because he's got the right idea. So let's see that that must go that must go deeper in. Whereas this oopsie. Oh right, you have to you have to pay for healing anyway. Oh <coughs> I can't go over there. This is not this is a wall, not a door. But I'm also over here and I can't go there over here. I have a door here, but there is a hole in that map. I'm not even I'm not really sure how that, that works to be honest. Why is your tongue out? Uh, that's a lot of accuracy that takes me a little bit to snipe immediately. I'm gonna go for the defense first. Yep, too strong for them. High accuracy. Now all I have to do is catch up with their... Yeah. Oh, they went all in on stamina. That was rude. The so snipe is two stamina dice next turn, which is pretty strong. Instantly grants two stamina. Okay, so let's use one to get ahead of their attack and one to get ahead of their defense. Oh, they're going to use taunt. Rude. Did they, did they change their target to using that because... Yeah, they were going to use steel, so, that, so they were going to do damage. But I switched to having one more defense so they default to the their highest accuracy, non-aggressive ability as a result of that. These dice will be strong to have. You can take my accuracy. I have a stat advantage now. Uh, yeah, let's nab the big number before they can take it. Take it. But I can also beat them on accuracy now. Alright, I have them. So they can't hurt me, I can hurt them, and I'm faster, and I have all these abilities unlocked. Don't, I'm not really seeing downsides. Uh, eight. I didn't need that many stamina dice, like, because they only have three defense, so. I can successfully increase my accuracy on top of everything else that's happening, and that allows me to also snipe again for more stamina dice next turn. We are becoming a, an accuracy engine, and they're specifically using an ability that counters that, and it's not good enough. Uh, take the good dice off the board. Now all they can do is stack accuracy, which is the least useful stat for them, because they don't really have abilities. I'm guessing that uh, later game enemies are more dangerous with accuracy because I'm pretty dangerous with accuracy so I'd be worried about other people having a bunch of it potentially all right oh they went all they went all in for speed they have no attack and no defense so I can just stack speed ahead of them and then they can't stop me do you think he's okay 
Potion of Defense grants three defense die. I want that. That'd be, that could be useful. Oh, I already have one too. In fact, I'm, I'm underusing the, I'm underutilizing these items because they're giving me so much. Um, I guess three defense die isn't that much. Because giving me three defense via an item is less good than getting me three stamina that I can then just turn into three defense or any combination of other options. So you'd more ideally have that. He's got a knife! Uh, take the big number off the board. Mine. Accuracy is kind of better than speed for me. Gives me more options to play with. They're trying to stack... They're really, they're really trying to stack attack, even though they can't get ahead of my attack. Okay, well I'll take the speed just to get more attack than... Oh, they, they did a plus one to stop me. Rude. Oh well. Murder. React is admittedly a little pointless because I don't need the defense. We're tied on speed. Let's see. If I take my defense die off of here, I put on accuracy. Then use stun to get rid of one of their attack because I because I'm winning on speed so I'll go first and that'll give me a bonus for next turn that's better than react being kind of useless this turn so now they can't hurt me but I get a plus one for next turn eked that one out that's a lot of speed on the board it's too much I mean, accuracy on the board. Grab the defense first, so they have to do a shitty defense dice. Ha 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 ha. Wow, they're really stacking defense very slowly. Um, I'll get a little here. Okay. I would like to be able to do damage, so I guess I'll take this off of my accuracy to get even more attack. Just so I can do a regular strike. This is definitely one of those games where the game goes slower because I'm explaining all of my moves because uh, that's how you, that's how you do a show. Otherwise, this is just incomprehensible. That opens some stuff up. What do you think that and that are? Oh, that's a lot of little journal entries. Oh, I can't get there. This is all a solid wall. If I go through the stoat, I can get there. What's this glittery spot do? Is that just where I defeated someone? It kind of looks like a cat or a swan, depending on which side you look at. Oh, it's the code. Okay. Glittery spot on the floor looks like that, and that's part of the code. So I need to find all three symbols around the entire map. Uh, this looks like a dead end, although the enemies might reveal the symbols when you defeat them. Maximum number. Um. All in. Still might be able to get heavy. you. Uh, it's gonna be less likely now. But what if I just switch these around real quick and now I have now I have enough attack and enough defense? Mm. Think about that. I don't think you thought about that. What you put the You put the speed on the defense. 
It's rude, is what it is. Uh, alright. I don't need any defense if they're not even going to bother with any attack. Ten is a bit much. <laughs> uh... I have speed advantage already. I can discard four of their defense. Unless I want snipe. It's not gonna matter. I can't get enough accuracy and attack to overcome their defense. Stun lets, get me, lets me get rid of one of, uh, one of their defense, but that's pointless because you have to have already connected for it to count. I do get one of the dice, I guess. There's that. I should just enjoy that. So I get a little defense die this turn. Oh, damn it. Every now and then I hit B to undo my action, and then I realize... And I keep realizing that hitting B just exits, which is the same thing as hitting A, functionally. Okay, so it's gonna be hard to outclass... Oh, no, they put on attack, and their attack is pointless if my defense is higher, so... Yeah. So let's just make sure that they can't get very good defense by grabbing this. Now they're gonna use their stamina. Now they're out of stamina, that was the last of what they he had. I cannot move my defense because they're, they've, uh, or can I? No. Because, okay, I, I don't even have access to, to react anyway because I have no accuracy. But even if I did, it would be, it would not make it for the three. So I'm gonna have to use one of these. Gasp. But this should let me strike. I'm really underutilizing my items potentially, but I don't seem to need them so far, so. Eh. I guess it just lets me keep continue to swap out my items as necessary. So this lets you sleep. So ten coins for three stamina, but I can get stamina from like not only my inventory, but uh some of my techniques sometimes if I get enough uh accuracy, so I'm G -g -g good Journey journal entry four gasp Your beloved truth seeker scoop here with an exclusive interview I was able to sit down and speak with one of the few people to be fired by President Badger himself for her safety I'll be calling her miss a bunny I was, a, I was a tactical and mechanical designer for Badger Co. Miss Bunny tells me they were looking for automated digging solutions. I provided them with a variety of designs meant to keep the operators safe and move material at a reasonable rate. Safety and reasonable were criteria they weren't terribly concerned about. Miss A. Bunny then dropped a juicy tidbit. I think there's something else going on. Ever since the first as... Amsidian ingot was unearthed, Badgerco has been ramping up excavation to an insane degree. It can't just be about profits. The fervor they have for gutting the mines is illogical, almost obsessive. What is it that Badgerco could be really after? What is it that Badgerco that could really be after? What's driving them to such depths? Your intrepid reporter, Scoop, will let you know. Uh... There it is, okay. They say justice is blind. That might explain why Jules Vale's self-proclaimed Archer of Justice misses the mark so often. In this week's latest debacle, the arrow-flinging rogue named Fleet confronted a team of Badger Co. tenant enforcers. The corporate goons were set to evict another batch of locals when Fleet descended upon them with a flurry of arrows and curses. When your friend Scoop has no love for Badger while your friend Scoop has no blood for Badger Co. or its heartless lackeys, the situation was only made worse by Fleet. After the battle, much of the living complex was wrecked. 
forcing the tenants to move out anyway. Badger Code demolitions were swiftly uh, summoned to condemn the damaged property and set it to be raised. What will go up in its place? You guessed it, Badger Go Properties' newest set of premium priced housing. Will the former occupants get access to these new units? Or at least at a discount? Of course not. Will Badger Co. Realty get called out for hogging all the living space as rental units? Definitely not. And will Fleet be held accountable for making things worse? There, that's a hat trick of nope. The only silver lining is local philanthropist Randall will be paying for temporary lodging of the displaced locals. Is one of them's? And this one of the... Uh, Oh. Oh, down here is just a dead end. This little bit doesn't go anywhere. Welp. I guess you die now. Uh, defense. Just, just defense is the game here. A lot of the time, honestly. All right, well, neither of us can attack the other one now. They have two attack. They're definitely not anywhere near breaking my stuff. In fact, I can move all the stuff off of there. But they're gonna grow, and that's gonna suck. But I can get ahead of them with snipe, but it won't connect. So if I do this, I get to connect and attack, and I just have to weather the storm next turn, I guess. But my whole goal is to land three attacks. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to grab that big old defense real quick to deal with how big of a mess you just made things. Uh, that's a lot of accuracy. And none of their buttons let them attack past me. This has more mobility. Let's see here. So I can move this to get seven attack if I want to, which would still not be enough. Uh, but then they would attack me. So we're stalemating, which is pretty good for a grow turn. Probably want to focus in the meantime. Instead of getting three defense. my own personal crappier grow. Oh, they growed again. Yep. Didn't really pay attention to that specific detail. That isn't great for me. That's a lot of attack! That's a lot of attack and defense. Uh, yeah, I, just, I, I thought about grow as a thing you, you, you escape for one turn. That's not really what it was, is it? Okay, so they're beating my attack and defense. This is very bad. And defending myself would involve getting five more defense, which is a ton of stamina usage. So I'm probably gonna wanna use this item down here. If your speed is equal or higher than your opponents, you'll avoid their attack during this turn. I have way more speed. There we go. Now I will be safe from their attack. I can focus on other things like, like focus. Yep. You missed. Miss! Hmm. I would like to get the edge on attack. Alright. I want to grab this, so I can edge out their defense without letting them get any more attack. And then that forces them to probably grab the gray die for defense, which won't be enough to defend themselves. But they can try. 
Uh, if they get any more attack, they'll be able to attack me, though, so I'll grab this defense. They're going to go for cover. Which isn't helpful, because they're slower than me, so the defense won't matter. I don't have any cool attacks to use this turn, but I, at least I get to attack. This is absolutely the type of bat of uh, game where you get insane backseat comments. Where if I if I did do it, if I played it for a while, I would just <laughs> get drowned in people calling out every single misplay they spot. Uh, engagement. Uh, there's no gray die on the board, so that's rough. But I definitely don't want him to get a ton of attack. So let's get the big attack die. This is kind of messy. Okay. Ah, oh, they played stamina. Okay. So I'm winning on attack, but I'm one behind on defense, so I'm gonna just have to do this. Um... Yeah. I thought briefly that I could move something down to accuracy and then use react, but... Oh wait. I don't need to use a stamina. Because I have higher speed and they're gonna die. I'm I'm think I'm starting to think about the right things. We're getting we're getting there. What is he? I pay a fortune for food. Give. Bless you, traveler. Twenty coins. They really do pay a fortune for food. I'm fortunate to have met them. What is that? Is that an elevator to go back? You can resume from here later. That's exactly what that is then. That's a doctor, but I've not taken any damage so far. Look at me go, look at me go, look at me go. Scary bridge. Bulldozer boss fight! Okay. I've been looking to wrap this episode up, because uh, it's supposed to be a preview. Let's go to the shop and buy something cool, and then fight the giant bulldozer room. And that'll be the end of this. Three speed, three stamina. St uh, three stamina die. I mean, it's definitely better than speed. Bandana, pay two stamina in exchange for a random stamina die. Equipment? Yeah, that is, yeah, it goes in that slot. Okay. So I can pay stamina to get a random stamina die. That's dicey, ha. <laughs> but uh, it could be pretty cool, I guess. Soul of Courage, all your dice become stamina dice. That'll be really good for shuffling stuff around during a big fight. If I uh, remember it's there at the right moment, I guess. I have an important detail. There's an upgrade. So I guess the items you get at the store, like the one that, incre that decreases prices, there's also ones that just kind of upgrade the whole thing, just in general. Go back to the elevator checkpoint? Yes. Hold, vile fiend! <laughs> the glasses. This dig site is for authorized personnel only, missy. Uh, get lost before you get hurt. I don't think so, Foreman Kohler. I hold you responsible for your crimes against Jules Vale's well-being. Wait a minute. You're the brat who's always harassing my staff. It's not harassment, it's justice. I'm the hero, darn it. You're a nutcase. First I'll deal with you, then I'll bury what's left during excavation. You're crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna murder you. Whoa, animated fight scene. That's a fun little thing to move in. Passive ability, relentless. Can you stamp? Unstable, each starts each turn with a random die in every, oh God. How do I review those? Oh, there we go. Tough. Can't receive more than one damage per turn. Is uh, Was that possible in the first place? Can you use stamina at any time of the, of the turn? Stamina is reset to two at the end of each turn. So they can only have two stamina. Starts each turn with a random die in every stat. That's alarming. 
Oh, but they're normally zeros. So he's got one, three, two, one, and I've got a one, two, two, three. So currently I just have more numbers than he does by default before the, so, so far it's not that bad. Okay. He's got strike, taunt, which is the minus two accuracy, steal. I don't have much money to steal. Uh, he, he also has focus for two, okay. And strong on connect deals two damage. Oh, I have incentive not to give him uh, five accuracy, although he needs to have five accuracy and also more attack than my defense. That still applies. Uh, I don't care about speed very much because I pretty much always am already winning at it. Let's grab the attack dice. And the accuracy dice. And an accuracy dice that I'll put on defense. All right. He is, he is deflecting my stuff by giving both of these a plus one, but I can also do that. Oh, I gave that one. A, oh, he shifted to giving that one. Uh huh. Every time I do one, he puts another one in. So we're having a stamina arms race, which is bad because his stamina resets every turn. And, uh. Wow, okay. So he's very annoying. Yep. So watch what happens here. Uh, his defense is currently only three, which a second ago it was lo it was higher. Yeah, he had two points in defense. Then the moment that I increased my defense to block his attack, he took him off of defense to increase his attack. And now, annoyingly, after I've cr increased my defense to block his attack, he has now taken them off of his attack to then spam his defense. So my bonus to defense is currently doing nothing? Like, there's no reason to have these bonus points to defense right now. But this dickhead's going to immediately switch them back to attack the moment I reduce it. So I have to simultaneously defeat, be, like, because he has, even though he's basically given the player's power to move the points whenever he wants to, uh, which means that he just he, I have to treat him like he is currently giving the maximum number of points to all of his stats simultaneously. Which is incredibly annoying. Because <laughs> it means I have to spend six stats, even though I shouldn't have to. So that otherwise he'll go for breaking my defense. But I can trick him here. If I stay ahead of him on attack, I can land this hit and I will go first. And since I will go first, I can use react, which will give me two defense. So I will actually block him after all without investing as many points as he's trying to trick me into. So a second ago, it looked like I had to invest six, but I'm actually only investing two and the plus two defense will block him anyway. So that'll be pretty cool. Or, or I can use stun delete his four from his attack, and that'll also stop him from hurting me. Well, also give me a bonus later. That's not a four, though. So, erasing anything should be fine. Just needs to go down to three, unless he, unless he can shuffle it around now, okay. All right, so I did a damage, he didn't do a damage. That's good. That's that's the intended outcome. That's what we're hoping for. We love this for ourselves. Defense, please. He has a lot of defense. I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Let's grab the Mountain of Accuracy before he does. He already has four anyway, so... Uh, him getting strong would be bad, but he doesn't have enough attack, so it shouldn't matter. I, mean, I don't need speed, so I guess I'll just take it regardless. Let's match his speed so we can't do that. Okay, so we both have a billion accuracy. Uh, I need... Okay. 
it would be pretty costly for me to be able to ever attack past his defense at this point. Random stamina die, though? Let's try this out. I got a five. Okay. Uh, so that made him completely uh, give up on defense altogether. But now he's blocking it with his bonus points. Now he's going for, yeah, now he's going for the attack. What about this, though? Here he gives up and, re and retracts all of his points. Because I attack, I've, I've beat him, beat, I've, blah, blah, blah. I have him beat on both attack and defense. So the best he can do is focus. That means I'm not, I'm not going to use any cool abilities, but... Would it be better to use a cool ability? Eh. If I just use one bonus attack point, then I make him give up. And he just gives up on using anything. Which is weird, because his stuff resets to two every turn, so he should use all of it every turn anyway. This gives me, this, this gives me the attack and stamina dice, so this is a huge bonus. Every time I can reach Snipe, that is like universally a good idea to do. <clears throat> so his focus gave him 2-2, two, two, but my snipe gave me 3-3. Three, three. So I am at an advantage right now. Uh, it'll be a pain in the ass to break past his defense if he gets this. <clears throat> oh, there's also a gold, though. I'm gonna want this. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to get the gold die because I didn't want him to be able to shuffle that gold die along with his stamina to counter every single thing I do. <sighs> so now I'm losing by four. If I move this up, he goes slightly higher. And if I move this up... He's now inventing an accuracy for strong. But if I move this up, he'll then put it into attack, because now he's got to keep up with my attack. <laughs> he's annoying. Because, yeah, the moment I show a weakness, he wants to increase accuracy to give himself the ability to cast strong. Because it is, in it is indeed strong. Let's see here. So he wants to cast Strong on me, and I don't have to use any stamina to beat it. I'm winning on attack, he cannot defeat my attack. He is going to attack me, but if I use Stun, I can delete one of his attack dice, making him too weak to do damage to me, and also get a bonus next turn. So he won't be doing any damage after all. Strong was useless. Ha ha ha. Hee hee. Hoo hoo. Ha ha ha. Alright, uh... Blah. I do think I want the gold dice, so just so he can't have it. And then the one, yeah, the one gray is pretty weak. This can be, because this can be moved around anywhere. And he stacked his stuff to the sky as he does. All right, so my defense doesn't matter. All I have to do is beat his defense. Ooh. That is interesting. So he, he went for speed. I could use this guy again to see how it goes. A one. It's trash. Okay. Let's put it down on speed. Did he give up? I, I'm now too high on speed, and I can use snipe. 
So, so my speed is high enough that I will attack first, and I do win on attack. It's nice that those little icons that show up, that's consistent language, so you don't have to double check numbers constantly when things are moving around constantly. You can identify the problem via the, the flashy icon, then look at the number. But he's down to his last heart, so it no longer matters how he's doing everywhere else. But I should use stun just out of principle. <laughs> just so I could remove the attack die if I needed to, to, to prevent the attack. Actually couldn't. Anyway. H how? All you have is a bow! And a hero's ambition! You're insane! You're worse than old man Randall! Hey now, Mr. Randall is a pillar of the community. You could learn something from his generosity. That geezer throws around Amsidian like it's nothing. He's going to ruin the market rate. You're hopeless. Oh well, my work here is done. Wait, how am I supposed to get back to the surface? You can walk, just like the rest of us. Oh wow, only five enemies defeated across four floors? That's surprisingly few, isn't it? I heard a lot of commotion echoing up from the mines. What happened? I single-handedly brought down Badgerco's mecha monstrosity. Also dealt a lethal blow to Foreman Kohler's pride. Wow, you actually pulled it off. Was there any ever doubt? Frankly, yes, but I'm happy to be proven wrong. Well then, when, what's our next target, partner? A supply line? Ooh, rob their treasury? No, take down the company president. We are not partners. Bandrico isn't going away overnight. If you want to help me dismantle their grip on Jules Vale, you'll have to have some patience. But I'm the hero. Are you doing this for Jules Vale or for yourself? Well, obviously... Oh, she's not wearing gloves. Those are just fox hands, because their fox paws are dark. You can see the paw pads. I thought she was wearing gloves. We're done here. <laughs> Hi. Old man Randall, apparently. Pardon me, young miss. Might you be the legendary hero of Jules Vale? Oh my gosh, Mr. Randall, you've heard of me? The Bowman Bandit? The Community Thief? Robber of the rich in the people's hearts. Eee! That's me. Yes, that's me, Mr. Fleet, the Archer of Justice. How can I help, Gramps? I am in dire need of your aid. A darkness grows in Jules Vale. I knew it! I had hoped to enlist some of the others, but each one betrayed me. Hold on, good sir. Back it up. Tell me everything. There he is! Character unlocked. Slade. Has high speed, allows him to emerge unharmed from battles as long as he has enough stamina. Well... I, I, just, there was a setup and payoff. Episode started with me shouting Gay Shark, and episode ended with Gay Shark. Uh, but that's pretty much the time we've got for today, so if you want to learn about Gay Shark, uh, go check out Game. Link in the description. See you next time. <laughs>